Kasuri Fundo, the weighted chain weapon. I love this weapon. It's so much fun to play with this. The ends of these weights on this weapon make this a very dangerous training implement. The other thing that's dangerous about it is its concealment. It can disappear instantly and can hide. So this works in a lot of different ways. If I have my opponent coming in and we're doing a grappling situation, I just hold my hands normally like this. You can't really see this weapon at all and it's ready to be deployed at any moment. So if I'm uh, having him come in and he does a grab, let's say, I can loop this instantly. I just throw it right over his arm. And with the chain, this starts to dig in like a saw into the arm and the ligaments and tendons. And you can move people and do different throws with them instantly just by doing a wrap here. Now this chain will bind up on itself as well. And we can start to manipulate this person in many different ways. And it doesn't take much because it looks like it's so simple, but I'm really digging in deep on his muscles and his tendons with this. This little Kasuri Fundo here is amazing. The real ones hurt a lot, so we like to implement the rope ones. We give a special knot at the end to give it that simulation of this weighted chain part, and now it's a lot safer to work with this with a person. So if we throw this one down here, the only problem with this is it doesn't act the same as a chain does. So I've got to learn different ways to rope this in my hands to hide it a little bit. Uh, I can use the ends as striking implements, which gets really good. So if he comes up for another grab, I can use this rope to hit around like I would with a chain, grab onto one end and pull my fist into his throat to do some of the different types of chokes. We can come around and just use this to smash into the face with and do striking, grabbing back down into the arm, doing different types of takedowns with this and wrapping him up and finishing off. He could rip this off here, pulling off his arm and then come down with strikes if I really need to finish up with this different technique on the people. Also, if I have this hidden in my hands, he comes up for the grab He's like harassing me. I can use the ends of this to start to strike into different weak points of where maybe even the armor would be weak on people if they were wearing body armor. And that's in the joint area. There's a technique here with the Hoshi where all of the ligaments and tendons come together. And I could be hitting in on these weak points to start to break the arm down into different ways, using it to control the face and then coming down with different strikes upon the person as well. The best part of this is to think about this Kasuri Fundo like it's a Hanbo and you could do different types of blocking techniques. So one of the ways I like to teach basics with this, if you just hold your arm out straight, I can parry this if I go like this, but I have the ability with the flexibility of this weapon to actually go past with my hands first and do a pull in like a flick with this. I can flick it in an upward motion. I can come out to the side and it just has this unique quality where the hands go past where the arm is and then I can pull. This gives me the ability to wrap this up then and do an entry. So if he throws a punch, I can do this pop, come in here and hook right onto the face and do some type of a takedown. And then I could use the ends of the spike to start to rain blows in on him in bone parts where there's just nerve tissue and things like that right up front. So playing with this Kasuri Fundo in a grappling way is just a beautiful thing to do because I can hide this technique. Even when the person is coming up, he still doesn't see it here. He'll grab me and I can deploy this instantly in some technique right into the face for a shot, coming back down, letting it drop in, wrapping it around and coming up with the technique to finish it. So give yourself a chance to go out there, try to hide the Kasuri Fundo on you, see if you can deploy it in lots of different manners and have fun with this. This is a really good weapon of the Ninja because it's very easy to hide, the Kasuri Fundo.